Hi friends and fans, welcome again. Guys, today I'll show you how to downgrade your iPad mini 1, iPhone 4S, iPad 2, iPad 3, and iPod Touch 5 to iOS 6 from 9.3.5. So it is very easy to do. You need to be jailbroken. Please see the description to jailbreak your devices on 9.3.5 or 9.3.6 there is a complete guide ok so now first of all we open Cydia go to sources and add this repo that is coolbooter repo coolbooter.com it is in the description alright open all packages and install the first one that is coolbooter Okay, install this package first of all. Confirm. So, when this completes, I'll show you what to do next. Please don't worry, it is very easy to do. And yes, it will be untethered. So, iOS 6 will run just like uh, factory so now just return to CDM go back you must see cool booter right here open it click on ok now click on install now select the version you want to downgrade to so I will select the latest one in iOS 6 that is 6.1.3 so ok now click I am ready so do you want a verbose boot so select yes so you want to jailbreak the version that is 6.1 click yes so now click no here now you can see that it is now downloading iOS 6.1.3 right from Apple so this can take some time so when it is near completion I will resume this video so guys the speed of downloading will of course depend on the speed of your connection so let it sit and let it complete the download do not touch your iPhone or iPad while it is doing it for a successful installation so it is near completion just wait until it is fully complete so now it will extract the firmware this can take some time as you know iPad mini 1, iPhone 4s and this uh, 9.3.5 supported or 9.3.6 supported devices are really slow so this will take some time it is a 850 MB file so just wait now the partitioning is in process as you can see it is flashing iOS 6.1.3 this can take some time if you see this message just click done so now it is finishing up the installation now it is jailbreaking iOS 
which you will see in a minute. So guys, the installation has succeeded. Now we will reboot the device. So guys, after the reboot, just jailbreak your phone or uh, your iPad again. Just kick start the jailbreak. Okay, choose provided options. All right. Okay, guys, we are back. So now slide open cool booter again and click on boot. So it will ask you to lock the device. So it will take about 10 seconds to boot the iOS. So so it is completely untethered. You can see my iPad is not connected to the computer. All right. You will see this bar and then you will see the verbus boot. So yes, guys. So we are back on iOS 6.1.3. Same old. All right. Now just set it up quickly. So yes, you can see that uh, it is activating my iPad. So now just enter your Apple ID. Okay. All right. Next. Next again. Skip the. ID step. You can add it if you want. So yes, my iPad and your iPhone, if you are doing it on your 4S, is back on 6.1.3. As you can see, go to about. So yes, it is. Uh, on 6.1.3 all right so guys let me show you that it is also jailbroken so you will have cdia it is preparing the file system so yes now let's open it All right, so Cydia is working completely. All right, so your device is now on 6.1.3 jailbroken and everything is working and it is not connected to computer. So you can upgrade your packages. All right. So everything is working fine. All right. So guys, uh, that's all for this tutorial. I hope it was easy for you. If you still want to ask me anything, you can ask me in the comments always and I'll answer you. So that's all for this video. Until next time, see you.